can your altar active and you die anyhow? Because altar is active. That is why somebody came with a dagger that they would have used to kill a buka or somebody. And, they, and, they, and those angels walking on the active altar. There is somebody here, 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 here. With weapon, 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 weapon. And they will use it. They will use it to harm, to harm, to harm, to harm, to harm. Stop, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. I told you, warm this. I told you, you're not going to be a man. You're not going to be a man. You're not going to be a Any great man, if you go to America now, you go close to one of these richest men in the world called um, what is his name? Brigade. If you go close to him now, you will know no when a money He cannot ascend a height without him. All these billionaires, most of your politicians, go close to them. You will know that there is something they are bragging with. They can come to church and say hallelujah, but go close to them. There is something that make them strong. If they are not strong, we will add you faith to again also. My problem with you people is that you don't want to obey the principle guiding your altar. For you to excel, remain relevant, your altar must be strong. Look at music, look, look at Nollywood, uh, Nollywood, Nigeria film, how they die. Attack in the Nollywood is too much. They charm themselves, they strike themselves with arrow. If somebody is coming up, the existing person needs to go out for you to shine very well. How powerful is your altar? Shake that person. Ask him, how powerful is your altar? How powerful is your altar? <laughs> In the football, the same. If you are dragging wig with somebody, if you are not strong, you will go to one year's injury. Injury. Before they finish treating you injury, you will lose form. My brother, service your altar. Whatever your altar requires, do it. If your altar says, don't put much in a woman's private part. If a woman open her body like this, when I ask somebody to wear your bow, say, Holy Ghost, fire! Well, you are Kelu. Una sima kulup. What is altar? I have no time to lecture you. Ask yourself, what is altar? What is altar? An altar is what? Is a place of worship. Altar is a meeting place between. Invisible and invisible. What is market in economy? When somebody says, what is market? What would you say? Market is a meeting place of buyers and sellers. It didn't study economies. What is market? Tell me what is market? Market is a place buyers and sellers meet. Said it. Market is a place buyers and sellers meet. Market is a place buyers and sellers meet. Market is a place where buyers and sellers meet. Market is a place where buyers and sellers meet. What is market? A meeting 
place of buyers and sellers. What is altar? Altar is a place. Listen to me. Nobody can attack you without attacking you from altar. Any attack you receive now is coming from one altar or the other. If, if you're having witchcraft attack, they will attack you from their altar. Witchcraft have their altar. Marine have their altar. Powers have their altars. A child of God without effective altar can easily be destroyed. That is why if you want to destroy a man, first of all, destroy Yenakuriyegu. Said it in English. Said it in English. Said it in English. Amen. Amen. The reason why you see people of God being defeated on daily basis is because they are not mindful of importance of altar. Nobody can excel without altar. From Genesis, Abraham built altar. Wherever he go, the first thing he will do is to do what? He built altar. Genesis. Uh, Exodus, Moses, all of them built altar. Jesus now came and built the highest altar. The Bible says now the pulpit has become the altar. Then what is expected of you is to queue under the altar of Jesus Christ. No demon attack you without from the altar. Every demon have their altar. Demons don't work together. Many or us. Namino we there does not work together. Am I speaking sense to somebody now? Yes, sir. Do you know you can have two the queen of River Niger is different from the queen. The marine queen in charge of River Niger is different from the marine queen in charge of Minoras. But they are mommy mommy with his snake. But everybody have their own altar. Ask that person, what is your altar? What is your altar? Where is your altar? Where is your altar? How functional is your altar? How functional is your altar? Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. Do you know you can be sleeping in the night? I mean, when you are sleeping, you are snoring. But what is going on on your behalf? If your altar is active. If your altar is active, you don't need to struggle too much. You can, altar is a, beside every altar, there must be a priest. And beside every altar, there must be demons or divine angels. And by every altar, there must be diabolic priests or divine priests. Remember, we are the priests by the virtue of our baptism. Common priests. I am not talking about Catholic or them priests or Anglican or them priests. Now, that you are defeated is because your altar is weak. You are not servicing your altar. The angels, they are not working because you must keep the principle guiding your altar. If you are going to a native doctor house, Mariba Katosha, the native doctor will tell you, hey, remove your shoe. Don't cross here with your shoe. Oh, Genesis, Exodus chapter 3. Moses saw fire burning. He was going closer. The Lord said to him, Moses, remove your sandal, for you are standing on the holy ground. What, how functional is your altar? That you travel to a village and you come back with a twer shows that your altar is not functioning very well. That somebody working with you in the office, 
used witchcraft power to remove you from office shows that you are octa is not functioning very well that somebody said i gave you three days and that three days you are admitted in the hospital in icu shows that your altar is not functioning very well that somebody of marine can come and do his hand like this and you fall shows that your altar is not functioning well you your altar has to function very well tell that person your altar have to function very well your altar has to function very well i mean well. check that person your altar has to function amen am i talking about altar yes sir sister if your altar is functioning very well, nobody can manipulate your God-given favor. Do you know that before you, your favor will reach you physically, it must come spiritual. If your altar is weak, they can't magnet it. That is when you know that your customer will call you on phone. I am coming. The same customer will come and pass your chop and go to the next place. Your altar is not effective. You are Obunu, sorry, you are occult master you serve. We use his hand and do like this and settle you with money and that money will scatter because your altar is not functioning well. And beside every altar, there are principles guiding every altar. The principle guiding this altar cannot be the one guiding this altar. Your altar can be, avoid this, avoid that. Are you avoiding it? Tell that person, are you avoiding the principle guiding your altar? Are you avoiding the principle guiding your altar? If your altar is active, that is why before the that is one native doctor they kill in Anambra. Before they kill him, the force of one went to his altar and destroyed his altar. When they destroy his altar, uh, go and study how they kill General Aguirre. General Aguirons, go and study how he was killed. The force of all changed the the Aguiro, the Aguiro. They changed it. He didn't know that they have changed it. No, he doesn't know that they have given him that feature. Akaparo Dogu. Dikana. Our people are supposed to learn from the history. The reason why they capture you today, Ma man will come and say, I am marrying you. At a time, they will not come it's because your altar is not active. You must obey the principle guiding your altar. Every altar has principle. And what is the principle guiding your own? Those things, the scripture said, avoid, avoid it. Don't fornicate, and you're fornicating. The devil will be using that sin, scattering favor coming to you. After Zion program now, by next week, you will go and sleep with a married man. The devil will capture that sin, scatter it. That will make the angels walking around your altar to be very weak. Before you go now, you go to that house where he rented for you and he will come. You will not tell him to go. He will not tell him to go. He will come and sleep with you. After seven days in his presence, the angels walking around their altar will be weak. You will notice that you'll be experiencing disappointment, disappointment. Because the angels that will magnet your miracle favor, they are weak. And what weaks the angel is sin. After this program now, you will go, your wife will provoke you, you slap her. Bah, bah. You hear a boy saying that he, that he did not put much in the woman proper part. The boy that gave testimony officer, but the girl who put in him. Such a woman, the angel walking with you will just depart. A bro chaff. This man will come. The nice one, the ones you want will not be coming. The ones you don't want will be coming. You know that your altar is weak. After you leave today, I'm going to minister the last ministration. Obey the principle guiding your altar. Life is governed by principle, not by miracle. Even after you leave this place, you go back to the person you used to be. 
seducing men, opening your breast, putting your mouth in a woman's private part. Or putting your mouth in a man's private part. You will go back to square one. Somebody shout, God forbid. God forbid. Will you have to shout it? God forbid. God forbid. Now, what makes you bigger than all occult people is what? Oh, if you obey the principle, oh, when you hear anatopunano, where an ariano, oh, when you hear more pulanaso, more pulanagerangosi. If you are not all these boys that move from one halot eh, on Sunday, eh, eh, oh, you look about, uh, agidiba, agidiba. tomorrow you go to club, you carry a shower. My brother, your life will be like this. You will be seeing money for change. Most of all, God people that prosper, don't, that is not prosperity. Some of them, the assignment given to them is to be sleeping with a woman. One of them told me every month I must make love with 50 married women. I will lie down. So far I lie down with that woman on the bed, it will count. That is the instruction given to me. But money will respect me all the rest of my life. They have been on us. Every month, married women, two million, just lie down. If he touch you, it's over. Whether he's sleeping with you or not. So some of them have such principles. And you obey it. But are you a child of God? You put your leg here. You come to church. Uh, <laughs> amen and amen. You go back. Obanje are real. Marine is real. If you are a great guy, rising from your family, Barum Wayos, Obanje no Nihani Mekare. Check it, Godi Konoa Godi. Check go di keba hin e ti onu e de. When it a kenu, he am chori bangi bu mande kwaai. Where altar? No, when I'm one of some that spirit that followed me, I do everything to preserve them, to feed them. Imana, when you hear some native daughter saying, "I ne ye chia yini." You may not understand their language. Now, Nyeni is just trying to give the idol what the idol required. That is the language. And when I'm more twenty, Nyeni Chani. And when I'm more fifty, Nyeni. They are just doing what the idol required. But the spirit guiding your altar. The altar you be, you belong to the altar of Jesus, altar of Zion. Are you obeying the principle guiding this altar? If you obey it very, very well, the enemy cannot strike easily and defeat you. They can strike, but you cannot be defeated. <laughs> Power and the sin makes our altar ineffective. You see a woman, you come to, oh, you, you abuse your husband, you are living with your husband, you are hiding things. How can your altar function very well? A married man, you are cheating on your wife, and two of you hold hands to pray together in the night, and there is another side chick. How can your altar, it will not be long, the whole market you import will stop moving market. They will see some. Some will enter into a river. Before you know it, your business collapse. The spirit walking around you are not active. The, 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 the sin weaken your angels. Connection is coming from Enugu or Abuja. If your angels are not strong, the demon will scatter. Oh, daddy, anytime in Homa Chorebia, it will scatter. 
fortify your altar by keeping the principles. Stay away from sin. Secondly, make sure you make sacrifices because there cannot be any altar without sacrifice. Anytime your altar lacks sacrifice, your altar can become weak. Our own sacrifice is not pouring blood of goats and blood of... What is your contribution to the kingdom? Are you a member of Singer? Are you, are you part of those in security worker? Are you part of those in gallant men? Are you part of those in awesome brother? Are you part of them watching the... Are you sponsoring the kingdom with your money? What is part of the sacrifice to your altar? When you, your altar lacks sacrifice, you can be weak. Any small arrow can enter your body. Arrow from the market can enter your body. You notice that where you are doing business, two Oka has maintained the, the riches for 20 years, 30 years. Check them. They don't joke with the principle guiding their altar. And in Gilma, a flavor. You go to market, you go to prostitute. It's in a man. Each one five million. Each one another club. No, no. Check the line. Some radical or guys, they don't make mouth. But they have been maintaining the riches in your line, in your plaza, for years. I want a money for a hegu. In Kenya, for a hegu, the weak, market the careless. In on a homosexual, what dog cannot do to have you ever seen male dog sleeping with a male dog or female dog sleeping with a female dog? But in you sleeping with your fellow man, how can your altar be effective? To what a woman who's sleeping with a woman, how can your altar be effective? When you look at a married woman, you remove her pants, you climb on top of her because it's my security, your security. You are sleeping with the wife of your security. You are sleeping with the wife of your worker. Because you're a rich man. This woman cannot say no. Like David and the wife of Uriah. Before you know it, your altar will become weak. Because you already, spirit does not forgive easily. That is why Jesus died and shed his blood. Before Jesus died, he said to them, if you sin against God, so if you sin against the son of man, you can be forgiven. But when you sin against the spirit, you cannot be forgiven. That is why Jesus had to die, shed his blood for us to be forgiven. Even when we sin. Where are those that want to be more tapping on you? You must stay away from what that is unclean. Don't sleep with your fellow man. Don't sleep with your fellow woman. Don't sleep with your married man. Don't sleep with a, a married woman. Don't put your mouth in a, a man's private part. Don't put your mouth in a woman's private part. Learn how to offer sacrifice to God. Before you put your money, you must give God your time. Offer your time for prayer. Offer time for speaking in tongues. Do charity work. Your altar will be radically and brutally fortified. When your altar is fortified, that is when you will enter into the realm of touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That is when you will know that your altar is fortified. Luke 10, 19, you shall march upon scorpions and dragons and overcome all the powers of the enemy, but none of them shall be enemies hurt you. That is when your altar is If your altar is not fortified, it's all a water you Why you are still eating in the dream today? It's because your altar is not fortified. Why you are still making love in the dream? Because anytime your altar is fortified, anytime a woman comes in the dream, your angels will push her away. Why you are still accepting food in the dream? It's because the altar is not yet fortified. What makes your altar fortified? Prayer, fasting, holiness, Purity, staying away from things that make man unclean. To I don't want to last in this message because I want to tear one or two things now. Because today being Sunday, 
We are going to invoke rain to fall. Amen. Amen. Fetcha ukungiya fetcha. Why will I die in accident? Why? No. When my altar is very active, I won't die because the Bible says a thousand will fall dead beside you. Ten thousand all around me. I will not be harmed. I will look and see how the wicked are punished. Why will I die anyhow? What of the promises of God concerning me not to die if my altar is active? First Corinthians 15, 54 to 55. Death, where is your power? You have been swallowed in victory. Psalm 118, 17. I shall not die. I shall live and testify the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Habakkuk 1, 12. We shall not die. We shall live. John 14, 19. Because Jesus lives, we shall also live. Psalm 86, verse 13. He has delivered you from the power of graveyard. Psalm 79, verse 11. He delivered those who are condemned to die. Psalm 102, verse 20. He delivered those who are pointed to die. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. How can you are altar active and you die anyhow? Because altar is active. That is why somebody came with a dagger that they will have used to kill a buka or somebody. And, the, and, the, and those angels walking on the active altar there is somebody here, 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 with weapon, 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 and they will use it, they will use it to harm, to harm, to harm, to harm, to harm, stop, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. I told you, warmness, you don't know, you can't have them, 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 you can't have